Hi, I'm Amal, and I've chosen to wear the hijab since I was eight years old. After I started to wear it, I really discovered myself. I'm so happy that World Hijab Day honors myself and my sisters. So I wanted to share more about why I'm so proud to wear the hijab, and I sat down with my two community sisters, Sister Sophie and Sister Hafsa, and we chatted about why we choose to wear the hijab. So if someone were to come up to you and say, what are you wearing on your head? How would you explain it? Well, for me, I used to always tell people headscarf. After, like, you know, a while, I would just say hijab. And then if they asked me, what's hijab? Oh, well, it's, you know, part of my religion. Mm -hmm. This is what it's called. It's yeah. like, just so that they knew that it is a headscarf, but it actually has a name. So when I get asked that question, I just say, it's a hijab, you know, because people know it as a headscarf. Yeah. But I don't think a lot of people know that it's way deeper than that, and there's a whole different like levels to what it is, what it can be. So what does the hijab symbolize? For me, it represents modesty, morality, privacy. But I'm curious, for you, what does it represent? More than that, it's like a representation. I feel like mm -hmm. yeah. it, mm -hmm. as a Muslim woman, yeah. mm -hmm. like if you're standing beside two people, one's wearing hijab, one's not, yeah. you know that she's Muslim, even yeah, though, mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah. you know, women that don't wear hijab, you can still, you're still Muslim, yeah. but it's just a representation, I think. It's a representation, yeah. 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 I feel like a lot of people um, look at Muslim women, and I think even Muslim women ourselves, we go through a lot of, like, dealing with the pressure, and then we get upset. Like I have this burden, yeah. but I think if you flip it around in your head and you look at it in a different way, it's like I also have a protection right. where I'm like, before I walk outside, I'm like, okay, you know, Allah is going to ask you about what you're doing. You have this reminder right in front of you yeah. and not a lot of people get that. So That's I think true. flip it and make it positive instead of becoming like, a, oh my God, <laughs> yeah. like I can't handle it. So to all my sisters struggling, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you with your hijab journey. Cause trust me, I know how hard it is. <laughs> I heard that you're an influencer, girl. <laughs> Quick question, how many followers do you have? Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> do you remember? Very humble. <laughs> so like, you're on TikTok. You're like going viral. Thank you. When you think of influencer nowadays, you think about what they look, how they dress, what they look like on social media. But for you, it's the complete opposite. You're like fully covered. Yeah. I can't see your face. Like, how do you have a platform? Mm -hmm. How? So yeah, I started social media as a joke back in 2019, right before the pandemic started. TikTok was out. I just posted one video. I went to sleep. I woke up with like a hundred thousands of views. A lot of people from Edmonton and Canada saw it. And, and it was the first video I had posted ever online. It was not expected. And then I don't know. And then I had a lot of challenges with it. And, and I went back and forth. It's been a long journey, but it's now something that I hold so dearly to my heart because I've made so much connections with Muslim girls who, you know, live in small towns and don't have a lot of Muslims or young girls that don't have sisters and they look up to you and then, I mean, it's a lot of pressure. And I'll like see messages of people tell me like, you're the reason why I'm still Muslim. You're the reason why I put hijab on you. And I'm just like, I, I don't even know what to say to that because like, it's, it's such a big responsibility. It's like now people look at you as a role model. I wish that we had more of a platform for all of us to really show our strength. Yeah. So I'm glad that you're doing that too because we need you to represent. When I wear the hijab, I feel empowered and I feel strong. Ultimately, I chose to wear my hijab, that moment where I said, this is who I am, this is my identity. When I put my hijab on, when I put my abaya on, when I put my niqab on and I go outside and people know she's a Muslim, I love that because they know my morals, they know my values, they know everything I stand for as a person. So that makes me the most happy.